Washington, TND, as Israeli troops prepare for a potential ground war in Gaza. There is a new threat from Iran, warning that resistance forces in Palestine will not be able to be stopped. If these crimes, by the Zionists, continue, the Muslims will lose their patience. The resistance forces will lose their patience, Iranian Supreme Leader Ali Khamenei said in a video address posted on his media channels. No one will be able to stop them at that point. It's just the latest show of support from Iran to Hamas. On Capitol Hill, a group of Republicans is calling on the White House to do more to counter the Iranian government's terror-supporting actions. Iran not only funds the terrorists, they feed the terrorists, they arm the terrorists, they plan terrorist attacks, said Senator Roger Marshall, R. Khan. Over the last week and a half, top U.S. leaders including President Joe Biden himself have continuously vowed that Israel has the nation's full support. In an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes, President Biden was asked, what is your message to Hezbollah and its backer Iran? Don't. 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 Biden responded, elaborating. That warning meant, don't come across the border don't escalate this war. Some senators say that response did not go far enough. I'm begging the Biden administration to be clear. Don't just say, don't. Spell out what happens if Hezbollah is used by Iran to try to expand this war in. Destroy Israel, said Senator Lindsey Graham, RSC, during a news conference. GOP lawmakers told the National Desk they want the U.S. to completely cut Iran off from any money coming into the Islamic Republic, like the $6 billion in Iranian assets recently moved to Qatar as part of a prisoner swap deal, but they also want a more forceful response from the Biden administration. We asked if that could include U.S. military involvement. I don't think any option off the table. I think you have to be prepared to respond, said Senjon Thun, RSD.